Hello guys, finally I am back with the review of the PA ROM for the Redmi 1S. So let's get started with the PA ROM review for the Redmi 1S. Paranoid Android simply means that all the features which are present in all the ROMs may not be there but most of the features which we use most of the times will be there and will be available for us to customize. Like as you can see over here, if I pull down the notification bar from over here, it will ask me would you like the edge of the status bar to pull down quick settings like these settings. If I select yes, then all the time these settings will come. If I don't want that and I always want this if I pull down from here to show the notification bar, then I can customize it like that by pressing no button over there. And as you can see, if I long press home button, it will ask me would you like the recent buttons to clear all the apps. So if I select yes then so I can put the button for the recent app tray. So I'll show you some of the features of the PA ROM right now. So first of all you will see over here this icon. This icon is for hover notifications. If I select this and uh, if the top top rectangle over there is selected uh, all the notifications which come will be shown over here like windows applications. I'll just show you one. See as you can see over here this the notification which is supposed to come over here. Uh, it comes over here too and it is shown over here too like uh, like this and you can turn it off simply by just pressing this you don't have to go into settings or in, uh, search for that option and uh, disable it you can just simply enable or disable it by clicking over here if I if you go over here these are the quick toggles and to edit the quick toggles simply press over here and you will be able to add or customize the quick toggles like if I don't want the battery toggle then by simply clicking on it I can disable it and if I press this once again the battery toggle will be on. If I turn on the bluetooth like this the bluetooth is turned on but the bluetooth must be non discoverable right now. So just press over here these two squares as you can see over here press on them and you will be able to select discoverable or non discoverable from here only. So this is a great feature which is not present in all the ROMs when it comes to sim card data doesn't work on the sim 2 but data does work on the sim 1 and you don't get any uh, ringing notification for the sim 2 this can be simply fixed by going into dialer then going into settings then go into sim card settings and select sim 2 select the phone ringtone uh, I don't have sim card any sim card right now so I can't select it but select the phone's phone ringtone and you will be able to set ringtone for the sim 2 and it will ring for sim 2 too so as you can see over here the status bar is blue this is the dynamic status bar setting present in the display option as you can see over here this is the dynamic status bar and this applies to all the applications if i open this music player application it will adjust the status bar color according to the applications color if i open play store the same thing will happen the status bar will adjust the color according to the application so one of the important things is battery and when it comes to battery life PA ROM gave me a uh, moderate battery life it was not very good compared to other ROMs which I used but it was okay it was not like uh, bad at all but many other people who use the PA ROM got amazing battery life so you must be you may get amazing battery life uh, but I unfortunately for in my case due to heavy uses or something like that I got around 3 hours of screen on time but that's okay and if you go into battery you can customize the battery toggle over here as you can see oh, it's currently circle and percentage if I select bar then it will be bar will be shown if so this is a good thing for this ROM and when it comes to sound output uh, many of you uh, complained about the sound output and that was pretty good I'll just show you one song. So the sound output is uh, good that's not bad at all and if I double click over here you will see that camera application will open and uh, if I click once over again over here a picture will be taken. So the camera quality is good that's not bad uh, it's it's not better than MIUI but that's uh, that's okay for this ROM and as you saw over here uh, the double clicking action and all was done by using this MI key I got. So if I single press the MI key, music player application will be opened simply. So uh, the review for the MI key will be coming shortly. So don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel and stay tuned. And when it comes to performance of the ROM, the performance is very good. Uh, there is no issues at all. And moving apps to SD card is working over here. I For that, I use GL2 SDR 
and the battery stats I showed you earlier were all by using uh, the it on completely performance mode I didn't use any of the underclocking applications or greenify too if I would have used the greenify application then I think I might have got a better battery life so but that's not an issue for as of now and uh, you can apply the CM11 themes uh, or the theme engine is present in the PA ROM too if I select Android L and apply it you will be able to see that uh, everything will turn into Android L and if you go into setting once again I'll just show you something if you go into display you will be able to customize the notification LED if I use custom colors then for miss call icon I can change the color to whatever you, whatever I want and I can battery LED can be customized too so if you want to reset all the settings which I showed you at the starting for that just go into backup and reset and select reset preferences you will be able to reset all the preferences and if you don't want this then you can select simply no after selecting no if you just pull from the edge of the status bar you will get into the notification bar only not the quick settings toggle so this is it for this video guys don't forget to check out my other videos on redmi ones like sanusion mod 11 review and uh, how to install guides and all so check them out and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on the google plus so thank you guys